So today, I'm going to do a comparison of the 60 watt all power and the 40 watt uh, Coleman uh, solar panel. So, Coleman solar panel at this current angle is putting out, I wonder if you guys can see that, 11 watts, 1 amp. And if I tip it up towards the sun, almost perfectly, it's getting about 18 watts, 17, 18 watts, 1 and a half amps going into this battery bank we're just sitting at. 11.6 volts. Here are these LiPo batteries right here. I have the balance charger on top, uh, balancing the cells. I'm going to put this back down and I'm going to cover this solar panel with this solar panel and I'm going to plug this into the system. The switch shuts off uh, the solar panel and then I can use uh, these leads. Uh, that will go through this uh, DC uh, step down converter and it'll go into the battery. This does limit it, limit it to about 4 or 5 amps, which I don't think we'll see out of that anyways. So, here we go. Now we got the all powered hooked up. You can see we get some shading on the bottom panels. It's not a lot, but it, it's going to count. Let's see if I can push that down a little. There we go. I think I got it. Just gonna pull it back up again. <laughs> He's not wanting to stay very well for me. <sighs> Looks like I can't do anything about that. Anyways, what are we getting? On the angle where this was getting uh, about 11 or 12 watts, I believe. Let's see if I can get this to focus. We're getting just shy of 23 watts, something like that. Almost 2 amps charging this battery. And if we tilt this up, I don't know if I can do this with two with uh, one hand. Because I gotta keep the panel under here shaded and I have to hold this up at the same time. Maybe I'll, maybe you guys will be able to see it and I won't, I don't know. I'm gonna try it. this it is making over 40 watts I don't know if you guys are able to see that or not but uh, that's what it was making there we go got it sitting up right again not easy to deal with a folding solar panel on an angle just slipping and sliding everywhere now it's making come on I don't know if you guys can see that it's 20 8 watts on the angle now. Maybe I, I think I got rid of some of the shading down there. I got some of these on a better angle. But anyways, let's compare it again. I'm going to disconnect the solar panel so you can see the watts will go down. Okay, it's now disconnected. That is the all power. <coughs> now the all power is disconnected. We are back to Coleman. We're only putting out 11 watts. It's actually pretty, pretty bad considering this is rated 40 watts. That's rated 60 watts. I was getting over 40 watts of that and I can't even get over, so I can get over half the rated power of that and I can't get uh, more than half the power rated of that. This was two thirds, this is half. It is not the best time of the year for solar. Let's see, I'm getting. Come on. Focus. If I cover this up. There we go. I'm getting 18, 18 watts or something like that. But yeah, that's it. That panel puts out a lot more power than this one does. That one is lighter, easier to carry. This one, this one's okay if you put it stationary in one spot for a long time. Maybe I'll just show you guys my little system here. These alligator clips, I clip right here. I have this set up, you can hook this up to a car and charge it for camping. <coughs> this is 
how I hook it up. I should go around there. So this is a DC to DC step down converter with a current limiting. I have it current limited to one C charge on these batteries. Then I use this has to be plugged in this uh, battery. Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, that battery uh, balancer. And uh, <coughs> at any point. If it gets full and I don't want these batteries being just float charged because lithiums aren't great at being float charged, I just shut that switch off and it shows the panel voltage in the watts. Turn it back on and it's charging my battery. And then this is uh, about an 8.5 uh, amp hour 11.1 uh, volt LiPo battery. I have it going into the 600 watt inverter. It works really nicely. It actually will last quite a long time. I used a cheap inverter uh, on here because I didn't want to put a pure sine wave because I want to be able to leave this out. And if it rains or something, I don't want a good inverter to be wrecked. This thing cost me 30 bucks, so not a big deal. I covered this DC step down converter in, in electrical tape just to help keep uh, uh, water off of it if it sprinkles or something. I left it outside and I forgot about it. And now, I'm curious to see what kind of power I can get with both of these hooked up. This one, obviously, is just going to be laying down flat. I won't be able to... It's actually on a hill. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's, it's sloping this way. So it's actually making it even worse for that panel. But I'm going to cut the video and hook them both back up so I can show you what I could possibly do with the camping setup. Alright, now I have them both set up. This one's facing the sun. Kinda, not perfect on the angle. This one's like inverted the other way, so most of the sun's bouncing off of it. But sitting flat like this, we are getting, I gotta keep that back, 27 watts, 2.2 amps charge into the battery. So if I tilt this, see if I can do this with, with one hand, I'm gonna grab the end here, I'm gonna hold it towards the sun against my leg like this. So say you're dangling it from your car or something. What are we getting here? 54 watts. I don't know if you guys can see that. Something around there. Four, almost five amps. So, that's, that's pretty impressive. That's a pretty good charge for camping. I would charge that battery in about an hour and a half from completely discharged and that's actually this is equal to about a 16 uh, amp hour uh, sealed lead acid and it's actually equal to more if you're pulling high currents if you're pulling a uh, say uh, you're pulling at least a 1c discharge so you're 8 amps out of this so that's only 80 watts output uh, it's equal to about a 16, 16 amp hour sealed lead acid, but if you start pulling more than that, say so you start pulling 20 amps out of this and for periods of time, this is equal to more like a, a 22 to 24 amp hour battery just because uh, this will still put out its 8 amp hours of capacity where a 22 amp hour sealed lead acid will actually put out, instead of putting out like a 24 amp hours like it's rated for over a 20 hour discharge, It'll only put out maybe eight amps, eight amp hours worth of power, and then it will die. Um, that's due to uh, the chemistry and how the battery is made. But uh, so having something like this, like I can r run a weed eater off this and pull the full almost 60 amps out of this battery for short periods of time as I weed eat, and then uh, stuff like that I could do with it up north. But I just wanted to show. It's all power solar panel. I don't see any reviews hardly for the 60 watt online. Um, but it seems to work really well. And this is winter sun, like it's on a huge angle. It's not good for solar at all. So I, I can only imagine in the summertime how much more power this thing would make. And I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys can see this display because it's bright. Uh, hit the like button, it helps a lot, and uh, thanks for watching.